Hey lovely people welcome to our YouTube channel Astro Tarot. Today we are going to talk about the Magician card. Trumps 1. The Magician. The individual pictured in this card is someone with the ability to control and manipulate people, things, and events. Represents. Human intelligence, worldly wisdom. Control or manipulation of the forces that operate in this world. Description. In most decks, the magician is male, in all decks. This figure stands alone. Male or female, the magician has a young face and wise eyes. He is ageless. Costume varies, depending on the deck, from Egyptian to Greek to medieval. The magician always, however, wears a belt, and in some decks this belt is a coiled serpent. Possibly Ouroboros. The alchemical serpent swallowing its own tail. Or perhaps the serpent that both Moses and the Egyptian magicians were able to make come alive from their staffs. The magician stands with one hand raised, usually holding a wand, the other hand pointing downward. The down pointing hand may or may not be holding some other object. Note that this position mirrors the shape of the letter alf. The symbolism here is as above, so below. This is the teaching of Hermes Trismegistus that the smaller world within each person contains all the elements of the larger universe, and the study of a single individual yourself can lead to an understanding of all creation. Spread out before the magician, usually on a low table, or possibly an altar, are various objects. In some decks, these are just miscellaneous objects. In other decks, there are four distinct shapes which depict the four suits of the minor arcana. A cup, a sword, a wand, and a pentacle. Here, note that since the world represented as being under the control of the magician is that of the tarot. It makes sense that the objects be of the minor arcana. If other objects show in your deck, however, it is not necessarily incorrect. In any case, the objects represent things which the adept has under his control. And that is the essence of this card. Control of yourself and of the elements of your universe. Meaning, whether you think of this card as the magician the juggler, the allegory is the same. Consider that everything in the universe is spread out before God like or the objects on the juggler's table, and these elements of creation are tossed about by God in the same manner that a juggler tosses his objects around. The objects, themselves are not important to the juggler as individuals. The ability to manipulate and control them as if you consider this card as the magician, then in occult teachings, a true magician stands at the center of the universe, and all things radiate out from him. However, he creates, or recreates, the nature of the universe within his mind becomes the nature of the universe in fact. So either way, the individual pictured in this card is someone with the ability to control and manipulate people, things, and events. Tarot Arcanum 1 is the first step on the road to spiritual enlightenment and self-development. It's also the place where too many people stop. Because the magician, or juggler, does have control of his world, and control of others as well, it's tempting to consider this the goal. You're seeking you begin on your path with will the decision to grow. The hope of success. In terms of a magician, the question is, do you stay with control of the mundane world? Or go on from there to grow spiritually? In terms of the juggler, the question is, how many objects can you keep in the air at the same time, and for how long? In the readings, if the card is upright which is deemed to be positive then the prediction is as follows. Strength of will, intuition, self-control, self-confidence, autonomy, diplomacy, imagination, creative energy. The positive qualities of humankind, skill, initiative, intelligence, discernment, and comprehension, freedom from control by others. 
all leading to success and the ability to control your environment. If the card is reversed, age is deemed to be negative. Cleverness, lack of scruples, trickery, cunning, subtlety. An intriguer, a liar, a charlatan. A rogue, one willing to exploit the weaknesses and trust of others. All resulting from a lack of real self-esteem and domination by outside forces, sometimes leading to disgrace or mental imbalance. In effect, the magician is one who has the potential to be like a god. If this card represents the querent, then you are one who has the power to control your immediate world. Are you developing this potential or throwing it away on demonstrations of mundane power? The rest of the cards in the reading will tell you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.